I'd like to get married again. I'd like to have a companion, but I need to have the confidence to go forward. I want to get more out there. I want to put myself more on the line, you know, and not just kind of give up. I don't want to give up. Women around the world understand that aging can be difficult, and often how they've aged does not reflect who they really are. My name is Rachel Miyoshi, and I flew in from Arkansas, and I actually live on Maui. I'm 70 years old, and I would say I feel mid-50s. Beauty is far more than skin deep, and often the desire for a makeover comes from the soul of the child within. I was born and raised in Alexandria, Minnesota. My family was probably one of those early blended families. My own father died when I was 18 months old. My mother was widowed when she was 25. So we were raised by her parents, my grandparents, quite a bit until she remarried. And my stepdad basically raised us. I was five years old at that time. And he had been at Pearl Harbor. He was a Navy military man. He was uh, retired. He had two children. My mother had two children. And then they had one child together. So. I had a blood brother, a half brother, a step brother, and a stepsister. My father was very disciplined because he was military. I did not know till many years later that I was ADHD. I knew I was hyperactive, but as a kid, they never diagnosed you, right? So my father was very, very strict with me. My mother to this day tells this story, which I've totally forgotten, which was him chasing me around the yard when we lived on the farm with a broom and the dog pulling him down by his pant legs so he couldn't hit me with the broom. So I had this love-hate relationship with my father. He was always trying to control me because he was worried about me getting in trouble or ruining his image, or I don't know what he was worried about. But, you know, it was part of that military training. And even though I was never really a military brat, we were raised that way. I um, worked in Saipan for two years, then got a job in Guam, which was just south of Guam. And Harry Miyoshi um, came down to visit and proposed. We got married, we had a son, uh, we only had one child. We were married 10 years, and then we basically, at that point, were living separate lives. I mean, he didn't want to help me with anything, and I didn't really like the way he parented our child. And so we got divorced when uh, my son was eight years old. And then basically I was a single mother and got him through college. We had our differences, you know, and our ups and downs, but it, it was pretty okay. We, and neither one of us remarried. And now 25 years later, my son is estranged. School is my safe place. So when I decided there was no one I wanted to be my son's stepfather, I went back to school. And I think it was because, even though it was night school and it was hard, and I think in retrospect, it was hard with my son, even though my son you know, was at that age when he didn't want me around, I think it was hard on him for me to not be that actively involved with him, despite the fact that he didn't want me there. Um, but it definitely gave me more confidence to move forward with my own financial stability so that I, as much as I like men, and I'd like to certainly have a companion at this point in my life, financially being married was easier, but it, it's not a requirement. The women in my family live a very long time. Okay, I, my mother's 96, her sister's 99. I have great aunts that lived into their hundreds. So I'm 70, I'm figuring I have 30 more years. At least a couple of eras, given my own life with childhood and then, you know, college and my young 20s, I'd like to get married again. I'd like to have a companion. I'd like to have a wonderful man who inspires me and loves to travel. And I'd like to try that again. But I need to have the confidence to go forward because I am 70. And, <laughs> and that's always like, it's possible, but it's not like when you're in your 20s and you're, you know, got five men to choose from. There's more like five women to every man. I want to get more out there. I want to put myself more on the line, you know, and not just kind of give up. I don't want to give up. Did you know that Makeover Guy is the first and only company in the world that offers this type of free content? Though we love what we do, 
we do need you to continue. Just one video like this takes weeks to create. We rely partially on advertising, but our value to the advertisers is based on your engagement, interaction in the comment section, and how long you watch the video. The cost of the makeover does not begin to cover expenses, but these women know that and are willing to bear body and soul to help us uplift, inspire, and inform millions like you around the world. So please interact, engage with each other, help us by answering questions you read, if you'd like to say thank you or buy us a cup of coffee, lunch, or whatever you'd like to give, you can do that by clicking the contributions link in the description. And please write a note to let us know your thoughts. We appreciate and honestly, we rely on your contributions to continue. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the new look. I am looking forward to being stunning, beautiful, and approachable. And I'm hoping that this experience opens my heart to a rich, kind, traveling, and adventuresome man. And now, let's see the big review. <laughs> I just want to say this experience has given me a whole new life. It's given me a whole new expectation for the way the next 30 years will be. And I'm excited. I feel stunning. I feel beautiful and I feel approachable, which I have noticed since I got my hair colored, since I got my makeup that works for me. I loved this experience. It answered so many of my questions. It has lifted my spirit and made me feel very present and not invisible, which I really feel like I was invisible before this day. The most surprising thing to me was the color of my hair, because prior to that, I could see through to my scalp. And when my hair color was changed, all of a sudden my hair looked fuller. I love the color. I love the purple. I my eyes are green. Yeah. Green I've never had green, green eyes before. Like she doesn't look older, she just looks grown up. Yeah. And I went back to the inn where I had been two days before and I was noticed. And there was a young man who was taking my dinner request who brought it up to my room and wanted to come and serve me. And I just tipped him at the door and he was so disappointed. This is really comfortable. And I just felt like people were really trying to help me. You know, can I help you? Is there anything I can do for you? Whereas before that was not my experience. And I feel like I'm starting again, like I can go forward, look for a companion, find someone I enjoy that I can travel with. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the rest of my life.